Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. As you can tell by the title, the thumbnail, we are starting a new career mode to run alongside the Atletico Madrid career mode and it is going to be Inter Milan. Now I've seen a few people request this when I did ask what team would you like me to add alongside the Inter Milan, um, the Atletico Madrid series. Now this is going to basically work as a rotational uh, series so one day it will be Atletico Madrid and one day it will be Inter Milan. Um, so if you're excited for this series then please leave a like, comment some transfer suggestions, we'll get into that once we get into the squad and also subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you so much for the support so far on the channel for FIFA 20. Obviously the, as I'm recording this is it, it is uh the official release date of the uh early acts um ultimate edition champions edition for fever 20 so fever 20 is officially out today so what we're going to do we're going to jump into career mode now and start up the inter milan save so this time i'm going to go with let's go with this guy at the end <clears throat> uh change it up a bit so like last time we're just going to keep the same name as we do in every career mode uh, this time I'm going to remember to actually edit the manager because uh, I know last time I forgot to actually change him. Um, so what we're going to do, I don't really know much in terms of how good it's going to look. You know, I, I mean, let's just not really worry about it too much. Uh, let's just do that one. Why not? Oh, I haven't gone. No, 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 no. I'm not finished yet. Uh, what are we at? The nose. Let's see. Brows, nose, mouth. Uh, did I even get to change that? No. I mean, to be honest, this doesn't really matter too much. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'll just—I'm just, just going to pick random ones. Ears don't really mind. Let's do that. Hair. Alright, this is where we're going to make it a bit different. Hey, what should we do? We give him that. Oh my god, we're giving him that. Yep. Yeah. And face there, we've got to, got to get a tash on the go. Or we're gonna. Are these the only options? Okay, so there's not many options to be honest. What we're gonna do, we'll go for. Go for that. Let's just go for that one. And then outfits. I mean, we'll keep the hat because that's cool. Uh, but what type of shirt do we want? Let's go black. Go original, just keep it as, as a black one. Uh, bottoms, doesn't really matter again, does it really? Uh, let's just do that. And then I think, I mean, you can't even see the sock, so yeah. Let's go like that, because why not? And then, boom, that's it done. So the team we're going for, we already know, it's going to be Inter Milan. There we go. Now, obviously, same settings as usual. Uh, ultimate, four minute halves, turning off international jobs. Champions League, I need to make sure that the groups are all um, correct. Um, is that the group that they have this year? I don't think it actually is. Um, who have Inter got this year? I mean, to be honest, should we just keep it like that? I can't really remember who Inter Milan have got. I mean, we're just going to keep it anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway. I'm going to jump into the squad screen once we are there and then we will carry on with uh, just basically a, what episode one is always like, just an overview of everything, squad management and probably sim the preseason tournament. So I will be right back. All right, guys, here we are back in the main menu of career mode now. Obviously, you see this all the time in career mode of all the um, what everything you need to do. We're going to go straight into the um, office. And have a little look at what. So we only got 48 million to work with. Um, maybe if we sell some players and stuff like that, um, we'll try and bring in some new players. Which obviously, once we have a look at the squad, I'll obviously ask you to suggest some certain positions and players we need to upgrade to. So we need to reach the semi final of the Champions League, win the Serie A title, and reach the semis of the domestic cup, um, which we probably could do in the first season. I mean, overall, it's quite a lot to ask, but if we just go to the squad, see what we're working with. I am going to run the 3-5-2 as well, just because, why not? Um, the defence goalkeeper's all right. Um, Lukaku and Martinez, I think, are going to be perfect up top. If you look at it realistically, I mean, a right mid, 
a left mid because these are these are essentially I know they're wing backs but they're playing more as a left wing and right wing not wing backs you know um, I mean the midfield is all right maybe a new centre mid instead of Sensi but again Sensi's playing well in real life um, I mean a, a left wing and a right wing looks like what we could get um, striker wise we don't actually have a striker on the bench uh, I'm going to keep Kandreva on the bench I'm going to bring this young youngster on to the bench um, let me just move around these players again yeah looking at the team there's not much rotation I know Icardi's there but what I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of him because obviously he's not actually uh, a part of Inter Milan anymore because of the updates of the squads I didn't realize he was still there so what I'm going to have to do I'm just going to sell him because obviously that's that's what them um, well they've loaned him out but I'm just going to sell him to get rid of him because we don't need him uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to do that now um, just so I don't forget because yeah we don't need him um, so what I'm going to do now is head over to a few transfers put them on the transfer suggestions or the transfer list or shortlist and then I'll come back and then we'll overview it and then I'll ask you guys to suggest me some players or if you agree with me then let me know in the comments section Apart from that, we're going to do the preseason tournament uh, through the simulation, and then I will be back once I've showed you the shortlist and when we're into the preseason game. So I will be right back. Right, guys, as you can see here, we have I've just personally gone through and looked through a couple of players um, to add to the shortlist, both on the wing, uh, both wings, left and right, and central midfielders as well. Um, obviously I'm going to wait until they get all get scouted. These are obviously only a few. I literally have only done this for like five minutes. Um, obviously I'm going to expect quite a few comments from you guys for suggestions for transfers. Um, so obviously we've got Bale, Coman, Jorginho, Neves, Leon Bailey, Paredes, Loftus-Cheek and Lamella. Now I know some of these are either a bit old or they're not like standout superstars because obviously in my career modes I don't really like to just buy the, uh, the same players over and over again or the same players everyone buys because they're a superstar or they're going to be like the next uh, future star kind of thing I like to like mix up and try and experiment with new players uh, so that's why this list is quite um, random if you get me um, if anyone agrees with any of these players that, we, uh, that I've put in please let me know uh, if not, then please suggest a lot of your suggestions. Uh, right wing, left wing, central midfielders, slash CDM, slash cams, because uh, that's the positions we need to upgrade on. So, now we're just going to go through and simulate through the whole um, pre-season tournament, um, just because uh, I just may as well get it over with for the first episode, and that means we can just focus on transfers and the league after. So, a transfer offer for Dalbert... I'm going to reject that straight away. And I think there's also another offer for another midfielder. Again, I'm going to reject that just due to the squad depth that we have right now. Uh, Handanovic has just said, um, I'm just going to say, nice to meet you. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Uh, because, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to press play. We're also just going to simulate every game. We've got actually a tough group, to be fair. So I don't even know if we're even going to get out of the group, to be fair. So we win 3 0. Martinez, uh, S. Posito, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, and Vicent, uh, Vicino coming on and scoring the goals. I mean, a 3 win against Monaco is pretty good. Uh, we've got a transfer offer for Borgia Valera. Now, he doesn't really play, and he's in the reserve, so he's 34. I'm going to accept that. Uh, he's 34, guys. I'm just going to get rid of him, get a bit of extra money for him. And we move on to the next game against Lyon. But first, we've got another transfer offer for the same CDM, Everton this time. Again, I'm just going to reject it until I get a, uh, a few players in <clears throat> and just basically have a little look at the uh, squad depth now. Actually, he looks like a good centre-back. I'm going to reject that. I'm going to train him up, I think, and uh, use him in cup games and stuff like that. 72 rating. He's only 20 years old. So uh, what we're going to do, some scout reports from players in my transfer list. I'm going to go have a little look at that right now while we are here. So we've got uh, Jorginho's has already been done. Neves is. He's quite. He's not that actually that expensive. Coman was already done. Paredes. Ah, uh, he's only just joined, so he's not going to be joining us. So we're going to remove him. Loftus Cheek. How much are you? Around 20 million. Lamella. Hmm. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. I'm not going to make any signings this episode. 
We're just purely going to sim through this season <clears throat> and uh, this preseason tournament. And auto sim, nil nil. I'll take a point though against Leon. So that means we're on four points, I do believe now. Borja Valera has been sold, so that is good. How much does that take us up to now? It's 51 million, and we've got a lot of wage budget as well, so I'll happily take that. Now, we have Chelsea next, I do believe. Oh, here we go. Bacardi. I'm going to get straight. Get away. Just go. I'm not letting him uh, come back. <laughs> he's going. That's uh, more than what he's valued at. I know we probably could have got a bit more, but I'd rather just get rid of him. Because uh, obviously he doesn't actually play for Inter anymore. And it helps the career mode out because we get some more money. We get more money. So uh, that's fine there. We win 2-0, but Lukaku gets injured. I'm hoping that's not a serious injury. Uh, we'll go have a little look how bad it is. Another extra 1.8 million. Seven days, that's, that's fine. We can just use um, one of our bench players, which is the youngster who came on and scored in one of the other games. So... It's actually not too bad. So Icardi's been sold. That's fine. He's no longer at the club, which means we now have 95 million to spend, which is really, really good for us uh, just for this match. So uh, Mirolo comes in. Uh, I don't know who that is. We win 4-3 on penalties. That's really good. So we're into the final of the preseason tournament, just like we were in the Atletico Madrid one. But this time, I'm just going to sim it. Uh, instead of playing it because I want to just get this video out to you guys and just get those transfer suggestions rolling. So, release clause paid for Brozovic. Now, okay, that is quite interesting. Now, <clears throat> personally, I remember last year on FIFA 19 when you could just offer the player a new contract and obviously it just clear out that um, release clause being paid, but we're going to keep it realistic and we're not going to do that. So... They've decided to use his release clause and Brozovic is on his way out. Now that is very, very interesting because that means we definitely need to sign a new centre mid. Um, I know, I don't know if that uh, glitch works where you offer a new contract, um, but we're going to not use, we're not going to exploit the game. We're going to just let that happen like it would in real life. So that is really interesting. Do we win against Porto? Yes, we do. Lazaro scores. 1-0 win in the preseason tournament. I'll take that. And that means we have got an extra bit of money again. So if I just get rid of that, 3.6. And obviously we won the thing, so they're happy of that. So if we look at the season ahead in terms of the calendar, we have... Okay, wow, we only have one game in August. Okay, that's more like it. We've got Spurs in the Champions League, Milan. Oh, Milan Derby, early doors. Okay, so we have 102 million. Brozovic is going to be on his way out as well. I've added a few um, things just to get some players on here. I uh, see some wingers here. Uh, let's just see. Oh, I'm going to actually put him on the shortlist because he looks very good on this game. Asensio's there. Jaden Sancho's there as well. Oh, I've got to put Sancho in the shortlist. We're going to put Asensio there as well. And Serge Nabry. And then I'm going to leave it up to you guys now. So, if we look at the squad as it is... Lukaku is literally dying there with no uh, thing at all. Obviously, this, um, Brozovic will be coming out by the looks of things. Uh, we'll have to put him back in there. We've got too many defenders really on the bench. We're going to take Asamoah off and put another winger on the bench. I kind of want to put this youngster on the bench, to be honest. Um, so, even a backup striker, we, only, we have one striker on the bench and he's 17. So we could do with another striker back up towards Lukaku and Martinez. So anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. I know obviously episode one is quite basic. It's just team management, squad management, uh, getting the ball rolling. Basically, this is just an episode for you guys to leave transfer suggestions. And then next episode, we'll start with the league, Champions League, and signing some big players. We've got 100 million to spend. I want to spend quite a lot because you can see the midfield, the midfield five aren't great. The two strikers and the three defenders and the goalkeeper are perfect, but the midfield really needs improving. So I will leave you guys here. Please leave me some suggestions down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment your suggestions, and subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!